Imagine if you knew that in the midst of uh, my working with my daughter, for example, when I see the struggle that she's going to, and I can stand back and say, there's a time. There's a time for her to experience this. And there's a time for her not to experience it. If you read Katie's life, you'll see that there was a time for deep depression. There was a time for fear. There was a time for anger and worry and despair, deep despair. And when you're in those things, if you could step outside of yourself and look at it and say, there's also a time for its opposite. As long as I'm incarnated into a physical world, there's a time for all of it. And as you do, you get to a new place in your life where you begin to look at all the things that are happening to you because you remember one of the most, verse 40 of the Tao says, it's all about returning. It's all about returning. Returning to what? Returning to the place from which you originated. The first nine months of your life, you lived inside of your mother's womb in water. And during those whole nine months, nobody could get in there and mess around with you. Nobody could get in there and, and get you to worry about anything. You didn't have sonograms that you'd look at and say, my God, I don't have a nose yet. What the hell's going on? I hope, I sure hope I get a nose. And you got into nose therapy and you worry about it. Over, so what if it doesn't happen? What? You don't do that. And all of a sudden, perfectly, it all unfolds in exactly the way it's going to unfold, independent of your opinion about it. You're not doing anything. Nothing is left undone. You're being done. You're being completed. And you were totally, completely at peace with it. You were surrendered to it. You allowed it. It wasn't a struggle. It wasn't. A... And then you popped out of there. And then you said, thank you, God. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. We'll take over from here. And that was the biggest mistake.